Good morning. Welcome to day 11 of the new 3030 challenge in the book of Matthew. I hope you've been enjoying this, uh, this time with us, uh, gripping God's word. It's been good for me and uh, it, there's just nothing like it first thing in the morning to do this. Uh, have you ever just been so weary, so tired that you just felt like you just couldn't go on anymore? Um, I know with being uh, in Davidson County and uh, being in the safer at home um, edict now for the last two months, um, getting a little weary of just not being able to have what we call normal, uh, normal activities, normal days, going out and traveling and seeing, uh, seeing all the men in the NS grip groups all across Middle Tennessee. Um, getting a little weary and getting a little uh, tired and worn out and sometimes you just feel like you can't go on and you need some help. You ever feel like that? I do. I raise my hand. Uh, today we're in Matthew chapter 11 and I picked three verses uh, today. These things really rose up and spoke to me uh, and I hope they do you too. Let's take a look. In Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 through 30. And this is in the New Living Translation. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. Doesn't that sound like something we want to do? I know it does for me. Uh, when I moved down to the reveal, I wrote down, being under the burden of sin and its consequences is very heavy. Giving all of that to Jesus and joining him in his labor promises rest and freedom from all the sin and trouble the world lays on us. Our souls will be lifted and our labor will not be in vain. Uh, so many times uh, in in ministry, it's really easy to uh, to get ahead of Jesus, you have to be very careful not to do that. You want to go right alongside of him, uh, following behind him. Uh, let him be the leader. Uh, here he's, he's going to take all of our burdens upon his shoulders. And uh, he's not going to promise that they all just disappear. But he is going to promise that he's going to give us rest. And we're going to have uh, ease from our burdens. I'm grateful for that. My implementation, I must recognize sin and its burdens in my life. The weight of trying to do life all by myself in my strength. I must be willing to yoke myself to a stronger shore, source, Jesus, and learn to walk in step with the Master to become more spiritually productive and purposeful. My prayer for us today is, Jesus, thank you for calling us to co-labor with you and for making life's burdens go away. Help me to always remain by your side and not get ahead of you in any task in this life. I'd love to hear what verses rose up in you today. Uh, send us an email, direct message us, get in touch with us, let us know what you picked, and share your stories with us. Uh, let me close this with a word of prayer. Father, I just thank you for this uh, passage that we looked at today. Uh, I'm thankful that uh, you will allow us to We'll strap ourselves in with your yoke and Lord you promised to make our our burdens lessen uh, and all that go away Father I just pray for uh, wisdom to recognize when the weight of the world is just uh, wearing me down and Lord I, I would just look up to the heavens and uh, yoke myself to you help me to not get ahead help me to not uh, run out in front Father that's not the place I want to be uh, I want to be yoked in with you uh, and co-laboring with you. Lord, we thank you, we love you, we praise you in Jesus' name. Hope you have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow.